Hello. I'm going to walk you through question 10 on page 8 of the fall 2019 exam 2. This was the name that scenario question. And we are asked to do a couple things. We're asked to look at each scenario and first decide whether or not the technique would be a hypothesis test or whether we instead would be interested in making a confidence interval. And then also to provide the symbol for the right parameter. So let's take a look at our background. A new process for bottling cider has been proposed and it involves some minor changes to the current process. The next 20 batches of cider will be randomly divided into two groups. Group one will have the new process. Group two will use the current process. And what are we going to record for each of these? The amount of time in minutes it takes to bottle 20 gallons of cider. Amount of time is certainly a quantitative response, and it looks like I'm interested in comparing if on average the new process reduces the time compared to the current process. So I definitely have a quantitative response. And how many measurements do I have, sets of measurements? Well, I have 20 batches randomly divided into two groups. So I have a group one set of data and a group two set of data. And the random assignment is what's going to indicate that we have two independent samples. Two samples, quantitative response, talking about averages and comparing these two averages. And they do want to assess. Assess is a key word for being that we want to do a test of hypothesis. We want to ask the question, is the new process going to help reduce the time on average? Maybe yes, maybe no. And since we have a quantitative response talking about averages and we have two samples, the parameter of interest then will be the difference in the two population mean times two bottle 20 gallons of cider. Let's take a look at part B. They have traditionally produced their classic sweeter cider, and now they're contemplating a new mix. They produce a few batches of the new mix to have available for sampling over the upcoming weekend. They offer samples of both their classic and the new mix to a random sample, a random sample of 100 customers. They're going to ask each customer which type they prefer. So what do we have here? We have one random sample of 100 customers. We're asking, which do you prefer? And of course, their answer will either be the classic or the new. I'll be recording a quantitative outcome. The goal here is to try to estimate the proportion of customers who prefer the new. So if my first customer prefers a new, then that's a success. And if my next customer prefers the classic, then that would be a failure. And I'm looking for the proportion who prefer the new. Because I'm wanting to estimate, then the appropriate technique will be a confidence interval, because that's what confidence intervals do. They estimate parameters. And we're trying to estimate the proportion, population proportion P. And our final background, we're looking at some concern of losing sales because it takes a bit of time to check out during those busy Saturdays. So for the upcoming Saturday, an employee is going to be assigned to select a random sample of 30 customers and measure checkout time in minutes. We want to use these results to determine if the average checkout time is more than 10 minutes. One random sample of customers. We're measuring time, which is a quantitative response. And we want to determine if the average turns out to be greater than 10 minutes. So determining if the average is more than 10 minutes, maybe yes, maybe no, is a hypothesis test technique. And we only have one random sample with our quantitative response. We're looking at one average checkout time. 
that Greek letter mu.